Greetings, loyalists and heretics. Welcome to Iron and Ceramite, where we once again enter the war without an astropath. Hello everyone and welcome to another Iron and Ceramite Battle Report. My name is John and I'm joined today by Dave. Okay. Um, so we're doing a 1,000 point battle and obviously it's the Death Guard versus... The Black Templars of the mm. Namakash Crusade. It is. And uh, we're playing with the new Black Templar Codex, aren't we? Well, trying to. Attempting <laughs> to. This is only my second game with a new code, uh, Codex supplement. Um, so I'm still getting my head around it, but we'll, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Mm. So, like I said, 1,000 points. Uh, the mission we've picked, if you look into your core rules, on page 294 is shifting front, so it's quite a narrow, uh, broke my book, <laughs> quite a narrow battlefield, um, so we should get into combat pretty quick. Um, normally, I'd feel quite confident about that, but I don't feel confident about that today. We'll see, right. we'll see. I, I, I'm liking the setup so far, but it, it depends if it works out how I'm planning it, <laughs> how I'm uh, planning it to. So. There's a lot of terrain, not all of it's on yet, um, so hopefully that will play a factor. Obviously the um, standard rules apply uh, for your primary objectives. Um, so when you join us in a second, we'll select our secondary objectives and we'll show you our armies. So this is my 1000 point army, um, Black Templars. My HQ units today are a Primaris Chaplain and a um, Primaris Captain. However, obviously within the Black Templars, he is a marshal. Um, I've spent a CP on each of these already, um, which is quite risky within the thousand point game. You obviously start with six. Um, so the Primaris Chaplain has got Ancient Breviary and the Captain has got the Sword of Judgment. Um, just a couple of buffs to hopefully um, make them a bit more powerful within the game. Um, going on to troop choices, um, standard um, squad of um, intercessors. They've got the auto bolt rifles, um, hopefully just for um, holding objectives in the background. Um, they are joined by two squads of assault intercessors. Um, I quite enjoy these, obviously, with the, um, the rules that the assault intercessors have. Hopefully, they can make some charges and, and make a good influence on the game. Um, obviously, they're ob obsec as well. Um, for my elite choices, I've got a squad of um, Assault Terminators. Um, I have put some relics on these as well as some of the other units as well. Um, so I'm hoping that the new relics within the new Codex supplement um, come to fruition and are a nice surprise for the Death Guard who haven't faced them yet. Um, I then have a unit of Flamestorm Aggressors. Um, I painted these in a hurry to get these ready for this game today um, as I was very excited to use them with uh, one of the new stratagems that's in the codex and finally my newly painted Outrider squad for a fast attack option um, quite happy with how they came out um, and I'm hoping that they can get across the board quickly Okay, here is my 1,000 point Death Guard list. Uh, we are playing as the Wretched Play Company, which will uh, become obvious why very soon. Um, so to start with our 13 little Poxwalkers ready to play. Uh, the newest addition and Warlord today is my Demon Prince of Nurgle. Um, hopefully we don't suffer from new model syndrome and he gets wiped out straight away. Um, he has the... Um, contagion discipline of gift of contagion so we'll hope that gets off um, he's got uh, his hellforge sword um, the separating plate relic and he's also got the um, ability of rotten constitution so hopefully that'll make him nice and punchy because um, clearly he's getting up and getting dirty he doesn't have any wings so his movement is still only eight um, one day I'll, I'll add some wings to him but uh, not yet. Um, in the background there, as a HQ, you can see my Malignant Playcaster. Um, the reason for the Wretched, to give him the extra spell. Obviously, if um, our spells go off, then we'll get some nice mortal wounds out and um, other bits and pieces along the way. He's got uh, the Gift of Plagues, Plague Wind, and Putrescent Vitality. And obviously, they both have Smite, so hopefully... Um, 
he's going to get uh, some nice buffs out there. He's also got um, sevenfold blessings I've spent a CP on uh, to give him the demon's favour. And he's also got Eater Plague. So he should be nice and punchy. Uh, should help out where I need him to help out. Um, but we'll see. Uh, supporting these guys. We've got two Mephitic Blight Haulers ready to go. Let's get them in. And uh, if they're anything like the game I had against Shane, then they'll just be used as uh, paperweights. But hopefully their weapons will actually come into play. Um, because I think I'm going to need it against this army of Black Templars. Uh, moving right along, we've got our elite Blight Lord Terminators. We've got a squad of five. Uh, as you can see in the background there, we've got our Flail of Corruption. Very nice. We've got um, a Combi Plasma. Everybody's got an axe. Uh, we've got a Blight Launcher and a Plague Spewer in the background there. Um, let's get them involved and do some lovely work. Um, my obsec here, Plague Marines. We've got a uh, champion with a lovely demon blade, uh, plasma pistol. We've got a blight launcher and three dudes with uh, bolters in the background there. And to finish my 1,000 points off, another lovely group of poxwalkers. Um, so I'm hoping that I've got enough disgusting resilience here to um, smash these Black Templars back to whence they came. Okay, so no. deployment went to me. Uh, I selected Dave to go first. And here is how we've all lined up on my side, as you can see. Very um, spread quite nicely. And then we go over to the Black Templars, which I'm not looking forward to getting anywhere near, but I'm going to have to. Um, oh, we go up and over. That's the Outriders on the edge. So for secondary objectives, the Black Templars, Dave, what have you selected? I have chosen um, one from the um, New Codex supplement, which is uh, bathe your blade in the blood of your foe. Um, and that is basically, um, will be one of my characters going against one of your characters. Um, hopefully for the maximum of 15 points. Um, and then I've also gone for engaging all fronts and oaths of moment. Um, just obviously, just to try and push right out the board and, and get some um, points as, as I do it. Um, as obviously with the Death Guard, the toughness um, becomes worse and worse as you sort of go through the game. Um, so I think if I can strike early, try and take hold of the board, um, that, that's sort of my, my battle plan for the time being. And um, it may change. There may be some other tricks and stuff that I've got planned, but we will see. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Uh, so my secondaries, I've taken the Death Guard uh, Spread the Sickness action, which obviously um, I can perform an action when I get to the objectives, and then hopefully I'll be successful, and for each one I manage to uh, contaminate. That's an extra three points. Uh, I've gone for thin their ranks, so I'll uh, keep a tally every time I take out one of Dave's uh, troops. Uh, and I've also gone for engage on all fronts because we're clearly going to be getting up close and personal. So I might as well try and uh, reap the benefits of that. Um, Dave, do you have any sort of litanies, pre-battle litanies you need to tell us? Um, <laughs> not, not any litanies, but um, obviously I've got my vow, yeah. um, which um, I'll be using. Uphold the um, honour of the Emperor, um, which um, gives models in every basically a five up in bomb and can't be wounded on a one and a two. So it's quite a good buff. Um, and I'm hoping that it's going to um, reap some rewards against the um, the Death Guard. Um, as obviously Black Templars would chant the uh, um, the vow. I'm not going to do that because that's just embarrassing. But yeah, it's there. I could chant it. I think I you're chant. I think you're you're, I've you're chanting it. Off it. Camera, but I'm not going to do it. Again, I think you're so. chanting it. Okay, I'll chant it. Okay. So trust in the Emperor at the hour of battle. Trust to him. To intercede and protect his warriors true as they deal death on alien soil. Turn the seas to red with the blood of their slain. Crush their hope, their dreams, and turn their songs into cries of lamentation. That's the aim. That is the aim. Well, let's yeah. see if that's yeah. works and let's roll let's off see. the first turn. Let's do it. Hopefully you don't roll another six like you've been doing constantly. And that's a one versus four. Oh, I can we roll ones because I'm death guard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's not good. First turn to the Black Templars. All right, we'll see you for an update very shortly. 
So, as we know, Dave went first. Dave, talk us through your turn one, mate. Okay, so a lot of advancing. Um, I couldn't couldn't get as far up as I wanted to, but um, not too bad. I've, I've sort of played it relatively safe, knowing that you're going to come towards me, especially with the Terminators. So, obviously, I've advanced everything on this side. Um, a bit of a castle around Tancred and um, the Marshal and um, the Chaplain. Um, got my intercessors sitting at the back, just taking the point. Um, the aggressors, I moved them, I advanced them, um, and got a six on the advance, which is really good. Um, however, they went a bit too far because now I don't get um, engaged in all fronts because I've gone a bit too far. Um, however, they are within three of the um, that objective, and as you can see here, my outriders came up and managed to do um, get into the pox walkers. Um, the best part of this, as unfortunately, although it, it took two CP. Um, I used um, the new stratagem from the um, Codex supplement, which is Heretic's Pyre, um, and used the Flamestorm Aggressors to take out nine of the um, the Poxwalkers there. So that was quite successful. Mm -hmm. um, obviously got a charge in this side, um, but I, I am obviously concerned about um, what is about to come. I've got one Poxwalker left, and clearly I'm going to use a stratagem to see if I can get... <coughs> Friends back. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, after Dave just nearly knocked himself out. <laughs> so, my turn. So here we are at the end of round one. Death Guard have just had their turn. Mm. How are you feeling, John? Yeah, it was it was actually quite good. Um, the next round is going to be, I think, fairly decisive. Um, yeah. I have more units on the battlefield than I expected. So uh, we did a bit of shooting to start with. Um, before, obviously, you can see we've uh, moved up and we're in a bit of combat in certain places. So if we start um, back on the other side for the sake of um, keeping things in order, uh, we moved everything up into, into the positions you can see. Uh, psychic phase went pretty well. Oh, so initially, Black Bombardment went down, as you can see here. Uh, which will go off in my next command phase. We'll see how that goes. Um, I spent um, three CP on that. I spent my other CP back over here, sorry, um, to bring back five, no, four pox walkers, bringing up to five. We've obviously lost one in combat here. So that was okay, keeping the squad alive. Gift of Contagion went off pretty well with the Demon Prince, bringing their um, strength down one, which hopefully will help me uh, in the next round. We got putrescent vitality off on the um, Blight Lord Terminators, and that scored a mortal wound um, over on um, one of the squads. And then he got another um, power went off pretty well, scored another mortal wound, but the um, um, the the effect didn't work. I didn't get to take any other units out with that. Um, we've done a fair bit of shooting, as you can see. There's two Terminators missing off the table. These two squads of intercessors have been pretty well brought down, although now these poxwalkers are in trouble because we've got two characters sitting, staring at them. Black Lord's got up, did the nice bit of shooting. Um, I haven't charged purely because the um, Black Bombardment sat there waiting for me. Um, so this side's pretty good. I've got two poxwalkers that have spread uh, Plague Marines, which we've spread the sickness on this objective um, for points later on in the game. Um, we've taken out one of the aggressors. Yep. Aggressors uh, and one of the bikes. Dave pulled a good trick on me. I moved everyone into combat, as you can see. Started fighting with the Mythic, Mythic Blight Hauler because I didn't think all of his attacks would go off. And Dave even suggested go with the Demon Prince first. I ignored him. <laughs> I killed one of the uh, Outriders. And then, uh, annoyingly, now the Demon Prince is out of combat and he hasn't done anything yet. That's a shame. So let's hope he survives the next round to play. Um, otherwise... Pretty successful, I think, Death Guard, but there are a lot of um, angry looking Templars getting very close to me now. So, end of round one, secondaries, Dave has scored one point um, for um, what was the over the moment? Over the moment, because yeah. I haven't um, fallen back from yeah. anything. And, and that's about as good as it gets, because uh, your shooting phase was quite um, quite good. Obviously, you've taken out a fair amount of my models now. Yeah. Um, so, this next turn, hopefully I can make some charges and do some real damage. Um, I hope not. I think that I'm going to need to because 
you've already started to thin my ranks quite well. Yeah. Um, so at the minute, scores, thanks to secondaries, we're on 1-0 to the Templars. Hey, you join us at the end of the Black Templars turn two. Have a quick scan around for you, show you what's what. Um, right, Dave, talk us through your go. Where do you want to start? So we'll just start over here. Mm -hmm. um, slowly trying to deal with this blob of poxwalkers. Somehow you managed to get a six save to save the last one. Um, so that keeps these within the range of the Blight Bombardment, which is a bit frustrating, um, but it is what it is. Um, the Terminators did manage to take, uh, make a charge, um, and they have um, taken one out and put one down to one wound. However, they've also had that done back to them as well. <laughs> so, um, pretty even fight there. Um, I think that it's only going to go one way. Um, unfortunately, but hopefully I can take out a couple more before I go. Um, managed to get a charge off with my Assault Intercessors onto your Plague Marine down there. Um, quite happy with that. Um, I got just what I needed to get in, um, and I managed to take one of them out, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. um, still locked in combat over here with the Poxwalkers. Um, slowly chipping them away, but I'm, I'm a bit worried for these. <laughs> so you've got the Demon Prince and the Blight... Um, Blight Hauler right behind him. Did manage to get my aggressors in, um, yeah. and they took a few wounds off of the Demon Prince um, in melee, so he's down to five. Um, and then obviously my intercessors to sit in at the back. Um, trying to do some points farming. Mm -hmm. um, so, mixed. I'm, I'm mixed about it. I'm, I'm nervous about how many models I've lost. Um, however, my board control um, is sort of getting there. Yeah. Um, so if I can... Hopefully, withstand some of what's about to come to me. Um, I, I think I'll be in a relatively good position. Mm, we'll see. We will see. Right. Still got some punchy units to come at me. So yeah, we'll my turn now, and um, I just need to roll well. I think I just need to roll well. You've well, been doing all right so far. Yeah. Um, I need to remember to actually make some of my bloody five up invulnerable saves, which would be nice. Mm. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's, like I say, it's anyone's game yeah. at the moment. Right, let's uh, let's let's go and uh, let's do some blight bombardment, shall we? And we'll uh, join you, or you'll join us when we're when we're ready to uh, continue. So that's the end of round two for the Death Guard. Um, as you can see, it's starting to look a bit sparse with the Templars on the table. Um, John, how are you feeling at this point? I'm feeling good. Um, I've got quite a lot left on the table. I think it's my game to throw away at this point. Obviously, secondaries and points, I'm quite down. I'm hoping round three will either be the end, um, where I can at least claw back a lot of points that I'm, I'm missing. Um, so if we start over on this side then, <clears throat> as you can see, the Outriders were destroyed um, thanks to the... Demon Prince getting into uh, combat with them and, and smashing them. Um, psychic phase didn't go too well for him because he suffered perils of the warp, losing a wound, which was quite frustrating. Put him down to four. Um, my Blight Hauler, he moved right up to secure this point. Um, put all his rounds down into uh, the group of intercessors there, only chipping away two. Um, not great, but I mean, at least they're gone. Um, down here... We have the playcasters charged in. Really frustrating. We've only, we've still got this guy here, which is more annoying than you realise. Um, holding on to one wound. Poxwalkers still got three poxwalkers, so not too bad. Um, so we're all right down here. Terminators. They've cleared out the Templar Terminators, so they're doing their job pretty well. Um, the the playcaster actually got his um, spells off to keep them with. Um, Futurescent Vitality, although his um, other spell didn't do too great. And then we, in desperation, we lost our Poxwalkers. We've charged the Blight Hauler, who shot terribly uh, that round, into this guy who just won't die um, to keep holding this point. He is the only one that's actually made all of my invulnerable saves with yeah. the... Uh, with the vow that I've taken, and he so far has been the MVP. Yeah. Because everyone else around him is dead. He's due a promotion <laughs> for this. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I mean, I've got much more models on the table. Round three should be the decider. Um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. How are you feeling? I, 
I'm not feeling too great, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I think that when when I get into combat, I'm doing all right. I mean, I've taken out your pop, most of your pox walkers, Ooh. most of your plague marines, and that sort of was my aim. But obviously, the blight haulers in round one, and uh, your shooting really sort of did me some damage yeah. in round one. I think it's going to be quite hard to come back from that. But we'll see. I've still got my characters. They've got a few buffs. Mm. Um, so we'll see what they can put out. But obviously, they've got to try and get through the Terminators, yeah. the right hauler. Um, what's going on over there? Um, and obviously, I want my marshal to have it out with your uh, demon prince. But yeah, it depends went... whether you're going to be sporting and let him get across the table. Well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, you chose to go well off to one side. The other thing is yeah. the blood bombardment. Oh yeah, it was yeah. okay. I've chipped wounds off, but it was nowhere near as it wasn't worth the three CP. Probably would no, no. I don't think it was worth the three CP. No. But you live and learn. <clears throat> yeah, but um, yeah, you will try and get our uh, our champions into battle with each other. I think that'll be fun. I think that yeah. I think I think we can tell where the game's going at this point. So I think a nice thematic. Um, duel at the end might be quite nice. Yeah, you got your past the Terminators, though. <laughs> <laughs> On to round three. So here we are at the end of the Black Templars turn three. Uh, as you can see, we were sparse on uh, black armor before. Dave, <laughs> how did it go? Um, well, not too bad to be fair. Um, I managed to take out the last plague, uh, plague marine. Um, I have taken out two of the Terminators um, and Poxwalkers as well. They were over here, so three mm. Poxwalkers were here. So successful round in terms of um, damage output. However, you've obviously damaged mine back a little bit. Um, so I lost my Assault Intercessor Sergeant over here, which gives you control of that um, objective over there. Um, this one over here, I also lost my Assault Intercessor uh, Sergeant to the Mephitic Blight Hauler. Um, so the Chaplain, after being strategically taken out of um, <laughs> engagement range for the Terminators. So only the captain fought and managed to take out two Terminators. Um, he has used a stratagem devout push to move um, towards the closest objective um, to prevent you from scoring that. Um, however, it is looking very, very sparse on units. I've got five models left. Um, so yeah, and to be fair, one, two, three, Four, five. We both have five um, models left. However, you've got a Demon Prince, two Mephisto Black Haulers, um, and a Terminator. Yeah. So I'd say the odds are stacked in your favour at this point. But mm -hmm. I'm quite happy with what I've done, actually. I, it's not turned out as bad as I thought it was going to no. at um, the end of turn two. And you are well up on points as well. You've just been... you've Objectives, you've, you've been scoring on those points pretty well. Uh, and you've annoyingly, you've kept me off every turn. Um, so I really do need to uh, table you um, for pride more than anything. <laughs> so that's the end of Death Guard round three. As you can see, um, a few changes on the board. Um, John, do you want to talk us through what's happened in your round? Yeah, um, not as successful as I wanted with shooting. So the only shooting I had were the two Blight Haulers who fired everything they had pretty much at this squad. Annoyingly, one remains. Um, the only thing that got fired elsewhere was a Blight Expert into the Chaplain who just shrugged it all off. Um, Terminators, as you can see, we're down to the Flail, but nicely we have killed off um, our warlord. I've, I can't even bother to remember his name because he's died. That... <laughs> Marshal Tancred Amberaldus. Yeah. And I did aim the Demon Prince towards him, but uh, he wasn't strong enough to he survive. Was to too see... cowardly to yeah. face Tancred and sent a smelly Terminator to the undo it for him. Uh, I, if, if memory is correct, you charge the Terminators. So, no comment. Yeah. Um, so, we go into round four. Um, I just need to clear the board really. Um, should be able to do it with only two fellows left. We'll see how it goes. So, that's the end of the Templars round four. Very quick round. Um, Dave, talk us through it. 
Um, well, there's not much to talk through. Um, obviously, I've only got two models left. So he has moved here in the hope of either shooting um, and killing the Terminator or charging into glorious combat. Um, and he failed to do both. Um, so he's just out there ready to get minced by something else. <laughs> um, he's obviously come off the point. I thought your next turn you're going to manage to take him out. What's the point? I might as well just try and take out another unit. Um, he's managed to bonk some wounds off of your uh, blight hauler. Um, he's taken one himself. So yeah, it's, it's getting to that point now where it's, it's, it's going to come down to points and and can I sort of be mischievous enough to keep you? Probably not. <laughs> the majority of the points. It's basically ca catch the catch the Templars now and get them <laughs> off the board. Got two goes to do it in. Wish me luck or don't. <laughs> So end of Death Guard round four, and as you can see, um, the Templars have been driven off from the battlefield and every last one is dead. Um, the last uh, Intercessor Sergeant was taken out by the Multi-Melters from the two Mephitic Blight Haulers, um, and then the Chaplain who was in combat um, got his brain melted by the Malignant Plague Caster sat over there. Um, so yeah, John, how do you feel about that round? I am over the moon. I was worried when uh, we started this game, especially when you got turn one, but I'm quite happy. Um, like I said, we've got to do a bit of working out on the final points as well. Um, but overall, another success for the Death Guard. I'm a very happy boy. So... You join us at the end of the game. Uh, we lasted four rounds and uh, victory to the Death Guard. How do you feel, Dave? Um, yeah, a bit disappointed. Um, obviously, this is my second loss with the with my first two games with the new Codex supplement. Um, but obviously, um, I'm learning a lot and seeing how different things work and mm. and sort of what strategies are working, what's not. Um, I, it was quite close overall. Obviously, yeah. um, it came down in the end to. Um, me not having the enough punch to deal with everything, but I think I got on the points pretty well. Started off relatively strong, yeah. Um, however, obviously lost out um, on the um, shooting phase. Your first shooting phase, I think, was really successful yeah. And, yeah. and took away a lot of my punch. And obviously, I think I lost something like six mar um, marines, assault intercessors, and then um, a couple of terminators as well. So, yeah, I think that um there were some key points in the game um but a close and i really enjoyed it and obviously yeah. um like i say points at the end of the day scores on the door well so there. scores so valiant effort and it was very close um 35 points to black templars to a 38 points from uh, the death guard so i mean for my secondaries i got three because i only managed to uh, spread the sickness on one yeah. objective because by the time I got to any other objectives, I needed those units to do the shooting. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we may have got to the end of round five and I'd have regretted it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then obviously engaging all fronts helped us out. Yeah. Um, both of us, I think, benefited. Yeah, I mean, I got yeah a couple of couple of them. I did um, score quite well on that. I think that um, for my secondary, obviously, um, bathe um, your blade in the blood of your foe. Mm. Um, obviously, that was aimed at the demon prince and. Um, Tancred didn't quite get to him, no. the Marshal didn't quite get to him, um, and he just decimated the aggressors and the outriders <laughs> in, in, in melee. So, yeah, yeah um, he was, but he was a cool character to play against. Um, I just think a, a wiser choice of secondaries may have swung it my way. Mm. Um, but yeah, overall, not too yeah. bad. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed. Death Guard are always a very tough army to fight. Um, obviously, the vow that I took really, I think, overall... Yeah. I benefited a lot from that. It was more from the the failing to wounds on ones and twos, mm. um, because I didn't make as many saves as I was wanting to make with the um, five up in bomb that you obviously get. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that um, I've, I've taken away a lot from this game again, as well as my other game that I played recently. Um, and it's just learning what works well with the codex. It is quite hard with a thousand point games to bring what you want yeah. and play exactly how you want because you're quite limited on on um, command points you're quite limited on sort of what you can bring um and obviously the new codex supplement is very going towards melee yeah. um which just sort of sometimes plays into the hand of the death guard 
um, particularly your Terminator. So I'm glad to, I, I almost destroyed a squad of Terminators. So I think the first time ever, yeah. I think he was one Terminator down to one wound. Yeah. Uh, the Plague, um, the Demon Prince was only down to a few There's wounds four. left. So yeah. um, it was very close. I think obviously the tabling in the end was was a, a nice sort of touch for you. But yeah. I think that obviously the score goes to show it was quite a close game overall. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, like first time out for the Demon Prince, can't really complain. I think positioned him better next time. However, he took out two units of pretty punchy. Uh, well, they were my two toughest yeah, units that I which had. I was strength. terrified yeah. of and got into combat and yeah, he just sort of batted them away. Yeah. Which was nice. Yeah, I mean, the aggressor's done some, some good wounds on him. Mm. The outriders were already getting yeah. um, sort of bogged down in <clears throat> box walkers and didn't really do much. Um, and he just sort of swept in yeah. <laughs> and sent them to the warp. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was really fun to play against actually. I was really, because he's, um, he's one of those scary ones that sort of you want to, you don't know whether to hide or go after. Or, yeah. um, obviously, Tankred was on his way out there, my marshal, um, but got taken out by the, the, the play of <laughs> corruption like everything does. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and we didn't even um, see each other's lists till literally starting the game. Normally, we always yeah, yeah. share them well in advance. Yeah. So, there was no sort of planning. It was put them on the table, and I saw all of those intercessors and thought, <laughs> I'm just going to get shot to pieces. But I think, would you play that game again? Would you advance so much in the first round? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that it comes down that I had to. My list was very melee heavy. Yeah. Um, I was trying to play it how I would sort of expect a Templar army to be mm. played. Um, I did want to use a couple of CP um, on certain stratagems, um, but obviously the cost of them sometimes prevented me from doing so. There's one where you can get the Assault Intercessors to fight again. Um, and after you took out a lot of my units, yeah. uh, the Marines, uh, that sort of took away the, what what the impact that would have done. Um, and obviously, before I even got into melee, I'd lost six um, six assault intercessors and two terminators. Mm. Um, so I think that with a vow I taken, I don't get benefit of cover. So um, as the as the passion for the vow, yeah. so. I need to go forward anyway, mm. um, and sometimes it's just hopefully you can soak up the fire on, on this occasion. I didn't do yeah. very well at, at soaking up some of that firepower, but um, I think I'll definitely use that vow again, especially with the Death Guard as well, because um, once you get into Contagion range and you begin wounding on twos for pretty much everything you've got, mm. um, and re-rolling ones because they're plague weapons, it is, yeah. it is horrible. So taking that away from you, I think w was, I stayed in combat for a lot of things, yeah. and I think that for once, I, I dominated the majority of melee that that we played against. Oh, whereas yeah. in a lot of other games, that doesn't happen. That that you sort of once you bring that um, contagion range into effect, and you're starting to win on two, it's just horrible, and you yeah. end up just mincing for units. Um, so I'll definitely use that again, but I, I don't know whether to start going back towards a balanced list. Um, but it's just obviously just playing with a new codex supplement and working out what works well, mm. um, trying to watch what other people do with it as well, because. There's a lot of people saying, oh, you should do this, you should do that. But it's still untried, untested. Um, and it's going to take a little while for everything to work out how best to play the Templars. So. Yeah. Good good game, though. Good game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well again. Done. Congratulations. Yeah. So, Iron and Sarah, right, guys, I'm two for two for recorded battle reports. <laughs> <coughs> and as far as that matters, I'm the only one who's won any games. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. there we go. Um, but smugness aside, uh, if you enjoyed this... Um, Please do give us a like, share the video, and all that good stuff. Uh, Iron and Sarah might stick it into Google. We're on Facebook, Twitter, especially on Instagram. Um, if you follow us on there and then use the hashtag Iron and Sarah might, then we'll share any of your work in our stories. Uh, come to chat to us on all of the, the social media. We're always up for it. Um, and basically, wherever you can, you can Google uh, Iron and Sarah might, we will appear. Um, and until the next video, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later. As always, we would like to thank you for listening to our Iron and Ceramite podcast. If you liked us, then you can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and any other good podcast services. Just remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war.